We play games to have fun, to relax, to take a break from our reality. Whatever you want to run away from, your games will always be there for you. And today I want to talk about Ghostwire Tokyo, the most disappointing game on 2022. Do not get me wrong, disappointing doesn't mean it's bad. The thing is, I saw so much potential in this game and the first two hours I saw a great game. After these two hours the game started slowly but surely feels really boring. The open world from a graphics standpoint it looks amazing. Tokyo has never been so lovely to look at. I never seen such a love letter to Japan in general. This game really shows the beauty of Tokyo. Sadly, Ghostwire Tokyo is a video game. As far as video games comes, this game is very boring. It's just a checklist, you know. The story is just average at best. The combat is fine, you know. It's not bad. At the same time, it's not good either, you know. There is a tons of stuff to grind out, level up and unlock different abilities but at the end of the day it just start to feel like a, like it's so grindy so boring this game like i said is just a huge love letter to japan so yeah so that was ghost play of tokyo should you play it if you are a fan of japan i would say yes but don't buy it at, at 60 dollars maybe like 30 i don't know if you hate Japan, stay away from this game because this game is just a huge love letter to Japan. If you hate Japan, then obviously speaking, don't buy this game. So because you wouldn't enjoy it and the gameplay, it's not good enough to carry the game if that makes any sense. Alright, so that was everything for Ghostfire Tokyo. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you find it helpful, please let me know down in the comment section what do you all think about this game do you like it do you dislike it and that was everything for me and uh, i will see you in my next video bye これでよし。頼むぜ、お地蔵さん。鳥居があった。浄化する。
がとう。AY、来るぞ強い力を感じる。